In this video, I will explain how we can do the post order traversal using iterative method. In post order traversal, first we visit the left subtree, then we visit the right subtree, and at the last we visit the root. So the order is left, right, and then root. So post order traversal of the given tree is this. I've already made a video explaining the recursive method and a shortcut method of writing down the post order traversal. I will link that video in the top right corner. You can have a look if you have any doubts on that. Now let's discuss the iterative approach of doing the post order traversal. So as you know that recursion relies on system stack. So whenever we want to convert a recursion based method to an iterative method, we need to use external stack. So there are two methods of doing the post order traversal. One uses two stacks and the other one uses one stack. So in this video, we'll use the two stacks method. So the first step is we need to create two stacks, stack one and stack two. Let's say this is our stack one and this is our stack two. Then we push root on the stack one. So A is the root. We push it on stack one. In the next step, we create a variable current which is of tree node and we initialize it to null. Then we need to run this while loop while stack one is not empty. So currently it is not empty. So we go inside the while loop. The first statement is we set current to top of stack one, which is A. Then we pop from stack one. And then we push current on stack two. And then we check left of A. So left of A is D. If it is not null, we push it on stack one. And then we check right of A, which is Z. If it is not null, we push it on stack one. Then we again come in the while condition. Stack one is not empty. We set current to top of stack one, which is Z and we pop from stack one. Then we push current on stack two. And we check left of Z, which is null. So this if condition is false. And then we check right of Z, which is C and we push C on stack one. Then we again come here while stack one is not empty. Current becomes equal to top of stack one, which is C. We pop from stack one and we push current on stack two. Then we check left of C, which is null. So this if condition is false and we check right of C, which is E and we push it on stack one. We again come in the while loop. Stack one is not empty. Current becomes equal to top of stack one, which is E. We pop from stack one and we push current on stack two. Then we check left of E, which is null, and right of E is also null. So these two if conditions are false. Then in the next iteration, we set current to top of stack one, which is D. We pop from stack one, so it becomes empty. Then we push current on stack two, and we check left of D, which is H. So we push H on stack one, and we check right of D, which is L. So we push L also on stack one. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to top of stack, which is L. We pop from the stack and we push current on stack two. Then we check left of L, which is P. We push it on stack one and we check right of L, which is null. So this condition is false. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to top of stack, which is P. We pop from the stack. We push current on stack two. We check left of P which is null and right of P is also null. So these two if conditions are false. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to top of stack, which is H. We pop from the stack. We push current on stack two. We check left of H, which is null and right of H is also null. So these two if conditions are false. In the next iteration, we check while stack one is empty. So stack is empty now. So this while loop terminates. And then we have another while loop in which we pop all the elements from stack two and print them. So this loop runs till stack two is not empty. We check the top element, we print it and then we pop it. So in this while loop, we pop all the elements from stack two. So H P L D E C Z A. So this is our post order traversal that we obtain using this method. Now the time complexity of the post order traversal is order of N where N is the number of nodes of the tree. It is because all the nodes can be aligned in one direction. In that case, the height of the tree will be equal to number of nodes. Now, once you have understood this iterative method, let's try to implement this. 
So all the code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I've created this tree. The root node is A and the left node is D. In this manner, I've initialized all the nodes. Then I have this function post order traversal in which I'm passing the root node. In this function, I've created two stacks, ST1 and ST2. I've created a current node which I've initialized to null and I push the root node in stack one. Then I run this while loop while stack one is not empty. I pop the first element from stack one and I push it in stack two. Then I check the left and right child of the popped element and I push it in stack one. So after this while loop terminates, then I pop all the elements from stack two and print them. So in this C out, I'll be printing the post order traversal. Let's see the output of this program. So the post order traversal using two stacks is HPLDECZA. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.